Konnichiwa, Samurai James here. In this video, we're going to be opening a box from Ryan Sword. Now, if you're thinking this box looks pretty big for a sword, you're right. If you're thinking it's pretty big for two swords, also, yeah, kind of right. Uh, and that's because there's two swords plus something else in it. So, let's pop in here and see what we got. The first one, as you might be able to tell by this, is a Naginata. So, this is definitely half of it. Boy, the styrofoam beads. Vacuum's going to get a workout tomorrow. It's hard to find people who are making Nagamakis, so when I saw that Ryan Sword is making one, I thought, you know what, I definitely got to get one of those. <sighs> and I thought, well, you know, if I'm getting that, I might as well get something else too, because, hey, why not? <gasps> The only thing better than one sword is two swords, right? So this is supposed to be a 1095 through hardened blade. It's got a lot of schmutz on it because it's fresh out of the box here. That's strange. Uh, it's got the four bohi on one side, but not the other. It's got a nice tapered back to it. I mean, it, it, it feels beefy. I'm sure it's going to cut pretty well. But uh, unfortunately, Samurai Bird recently had an issue with his where he was cutting some bamboo with it right out of the box and ended up rolling the edges on it. So it seems like he got a bad heat treat or something going on there. He did contact Ryan Sword and they did send him another one. So I'm hoping they, uh, you know, do him right by getting it replaced. And I'm hoping that mine is not from the same batch that got the bad heat treatment. So we'll be finding out on that one. If you haven't seen me mention in the other videos, Stone Built Knives Modern Tonto. Uh, link in the description below if you want to get one of your own. Or one of the other knives that he custom makes. I've also got an interview here on my channel, so check out that video if you haven't seen it. Here is the other half of the Naginata. It's got the threaded pole. Uh, there was nothing to customize on this, so this is just an off-the-shelfer. On the one cap here at the bottom, looks like it didn't quite get filled in or maybe got knocked out or something. Uh, textured for part of it, but not all of it. Seems to be some pins here for something else. I don't know if that's to, I assume, to pin the steel sleeve onto the uh, shaft here itself. I don't know if in the future I might rehalf this onto a single piece shaft as they were historically. They do come in two pieces for this for shipping limitations. And that seems to be pretty common with almost any large pole arm like this. We'll go ahead and get it screwed together. There we go. One hour later. Looks pretty good overall. Um, it does seem like the blade is just a little bit off kilter here on the shaft itself. It's not quite centered, but it's pretty close. Uh, I can see some of the paint here on the shaft itself has already come off. That's not anything that's a huge deal since it's just kind of a flat black, although, I mean, it's packed well. I can't imagine what would be dinging it and knocking it out like this. <sighs> Unless I maybe did something here trying to do it on the table, but minor inconvenience at best. So, pattern saya, which matches on the bottom part of the shaft here. And right here, I believe this is also steel sleeve, so I believe it's steel sleeve all the way here and steel sleeve on the top. This thing is very, very uh, shaft heavy, so it's definitely not mostly wood. This seems to be a good chunk of steel here, so I think that'll keep it nice and solid for doing cutting with. Yeah, looking forward to cutting with it, and uh, we'll continue on with the review shortly.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 